Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaMilani.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you saw from the title, I'm going to walk you through the setup of my A5 rings planner. Now, last week, in case you missed it, I did do a flip of my personal rings. So these are both Moterm covers. This is the personal, this is the A5. Both are in the pebble finish, and they're both the Lux rings version. And this video is linked below if you're interested. I really enjoyed putting this together once I finally figured out how I want it to function, and that took a while. But this is such a great addition to my planner stack, and if you're interested in checking that out, that video is linked below. This A5, on the other hand, is really sort of the centerpiece of my planner system. I will be doing a planner stack video soon, so look out for that, but this is really the centerpiece. I have power sheets and that's sort of the foundation and this is really the centerpiece because this is my everyday carry. Now it is rather big for an everyday carry, for some people it's too big, but so far it's been working out for me. It's not too big for me to carry around, I typically carry a larger bag and so it's been working out just fine. I got this cover back in June of this year and ever since then I've just been experimenting. I've been playing around, I've been trying things out. I've been tweaking and brainstorming and, and really just taking my time in figuring out how I wanted it to function and what I wanted it to do and what its place was really in my entire stack. So I've got it figured out and I'm really, really excited to show you what I have set up. Now, this is, on the one hand, it is my setup for quarter four of this year but I also have some things set up for next year. So you're gonna see a little bit of both in here as I go through. I'm also gonna show you some inserts that I don't have in the planner, but I am either going to be putting them in shortly or they're just gonna be in for next year. So you'll see all of that. Um, if you've never seen the inside of a Moterm Lux, it's really great. I really, listen, if you've been with me for a while, you may remember that I had a Filofax Malden that I was sort of using off and on. I could never quite get the rhythm of that planner, of that planner cover, I should say. Now, if I took the insides of this and put it in my mold in, I'm sure I'd be just fine. But for some reason, and I don't know if it was just timing, like I was figuring this out and this just happened to be a decision I made at the right time, but I am almost positive <laughs> that the cover doesn't matter. I still have my mold in, I still really like it, but I'm kind of really um, drawn to the whole neutral thing that's been going on for a while. Neutral's all over social media and I've kind of been sucked in. And so I thought, man, I have the black personal, let's, let's try an A5 and let's try it in the gray. Let's see what happens. So it, again, it could just be the right timing. And I'm sure that if I, like I said, put all of this into the Malden, I'd be just fine. The other reason why I really wanted the A5 is because the, I'm sorry, the Moterm rather, is because the rings are bigger in the Moterm than they are in the Malden or the Filofax, and I really like nice big rings. So that's another reason why I switched over. So if you've never seen the inside, it's very nice. You have a secretarial pocket in the front, open pocket, zipper pocket, credit card slots. You've got a big pocket in the back that you can pretty much hold anything you, your heart desires. And then in the back you have secretarial, two open pockets, and then more credit card slots. And as you can see, I really don't have anything that has a rhyme or reason, just random stuff. And while I like Pretty Deco, I just have not taken the time to shop my stash to put in Pretty Deco. So that might come at another time. Maybe by the time I have this fully set up for 2024, we'll see. Right now I do have some fall, um, some fall deco, if you will. Start off with a piece of acetate that was in my stash, a little fall dashboard that I made with some fall scrapbook paper. Um, I have these, I think I have a couple of them. These are bookmark, ruler bookmarks that I got on Amazon. Everything that I can link is linked in the description box, so you can check that out. And if I miss anything, or if you have any further questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Just leave me a comment and tell me what you got. And then the first sort of section is my inbox. And these are Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. 
This is the list with the columns. And when you purchase it, it comes with both the five column version and a three column version. Now I have several Peanuts Planner Co. inserts in here and you'll find them listed in the description box along with the insert numbers. I'm not gonna go through that here because it'll just add more time to the video. So you can find it linked below with the insert number. And again, you have a five column version and a three column version. As you can see, I have filled in the columns. And so I have to do, waiting on, project, someday and reference and so i just have a few of those in here and i'll fill them out as i need and then we have a just a little page protector made particularly for the size and i have just a wedding photo in the front so actually my favorite wedding photo and then on the back i have some lyrics printed out from a song let me know if you recognize that song i love that song it's so much fun okay then we have the leather flyleaf, which I really, really like because it has the extra pen loop, which is really great. And you've got an extra pocket, which as you can see, there's nothing in it right now. <laughs> and then that separates the rest of the planner, the bulk of the planner. Now, if you've been with me for some time, you may remember that I had a project playbook in my shop. I actually have a couple of videos, um, maybe just one, but at least one video of my project playbook. And basically the concept behind that product was taking project management and marrying it with like scrapbooky, fun, creative journaling. And I was very much riffing off of the work of Corey Speaker, the Reset Girl. She has playbooks in her work. And I just kind of wanted to take that whole concept and then marry it with project management. However, the thing that I was coming across was the fact that this was another book. Now, I'm a multiple planner girl. I'm gonna do a planner stack video here in the near future. But even as a multiple planner girl, I have to be very selective with how many I'm working with, right? And so I thought, well, what if I just took the playbook and then married it with my planner setup? Like whichever one is gonna be my big planner, let's just kind of marry the two and do it that way. And so that's what I've done. So I have the Live Well, Stay Focused um, Master Playbook and Planner. And so that's what this setup is. I have some playbook inserts. I have my monthly and weekly um, planner inserts and they work really, really well together. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. So this cover is for Q4. So it says quarter four up here. I'm not sure it's gonna show all that well on camera but it does say q4 up here and this is a magazine cover design as you can see because i'm kind of obsessed with that right now and as you're going to see here in just a second each quarter has a theme so these are the other covers and the theme for quarter one is cozy so i called this the cozy issue fresh is the theme for q2 and so this is the fresh issue and then we have the create issue because create is the theme for Q4. And then this last one is the release issue because release is the theme for Q4. And so these are all available as a little set on my shop, or you can just get it in the whole planner bundle. I'm going to show you all the different inserts that I designed for this. And so you can get it either way, either as a separate um, purchase or as part of the entire playbook and planner. So I really, really love this. It's so much fun. I had a fun time designing them and I'm having a really great time seeing them in my planner. It's so much fun. Okay. So I printed this with nothing on the back, but you could print something on the back. And what I do have also included in the planner bundle are these little, they can be dashboards, they can be dividers, whatever you'd like them to be, but there are 12 of them. And they're just like these little inspirational um, little bits here. And you could print one of these on the back of this if you'd like. And so I'm just going to run through them really quick because they're not in my actual setup yet. I've just printed and then um, cut them out, but I have not punched them yet. So we have, um, first off, love Jesus. I'm sorry, love people the way Jesus loves you. I really like that one. Um, live well, faithfully, physically, socially, and so forth. So this is the live well six. God is in control, something we all need to hear nowadays. Be you always, which I really like. Let's make heaven crowded. Okay, let me just say I love all of these. <laughs> Wake up, love God, love people, sleep, repeat. 
Live well and stay focused on the glory of God and the love of others. And this one is a quote from my goal setting course from last year. I said, it's not my job to pack my life full of good things. It's my job to follow God's lead so he can direct my feet toward the right things. And then this is do what you can with what you've got wherever you're at. Baby, my God is in the miracle. Oh man, I messed it up. So you got to kind of say it with a little attitude. Okay, let me try that again. Baby, my God is in the miracle working business. <laughs> I don't do that very well, but I can write it. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, there's beauty in the mundane. Another thing that I have to remind myself of. And then lastly, sweetheart, you'd be so hard to replace. Now, I wish I had come up with that, but that is actually just a play on a song lyric from an old movie, an old um, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movie. So for those of you who are classic movie fans, this is from the Barclays of Broadway and the song You'd Be So Hard to Replace. Or You'd Be Hard to Replace. I think that's the name of the song. And um, I had to kind of modify it just ever so slightly since it is a song lyric. Um, but those are the little divider dashboards that you can print on really anything. Um, and you, there are options that you can print on the back of these covers if you'd like. Okay, next we have, these are playbook inserts. Now this is a dashboard that I printed. It's not available in my shop, but um, this was just part of my 2023 setup. On the back of this, I have the start of my playbook inserts. So you have a space to write your resolutions for the year. For the 2024 version, it'll obviously say 2024. And then from your resolutions, you make your goals. And this is something I talk about in my um, planner course. Sorry, goal setting course. You set your resolutions. From there, you make your goals. And because I work through the Live Well 6 or with within the Live Well 6, all of my goals fit in one of those particular buckets. Then we have a projects list, a 24 before 2024 list, Next year, it'll be the 25 before 2025 list. As you can see, I never filled it out. I still can. In fact, I can fill this out with things that I've already gotten done. <laughs> um, so that's great. I could totally do that. Um, okay, then we have what I call project boards. And really, a project board is basically just a mission, or I'm sorry, a vision board with a mission. So what you do is you go through your resolutions, your goals, your projects, your 24, 25 list. And from that information, you can make these vision boards that actually have particular projects on them. So it could be anything that has to do with any of the Live Well 6. So you have one for each of the Live Well 6. These were all from this year. I never ended up filling them out. So I'm just gonna keep them and then build them out next year. Not a big deal. So you can even have project boards that last you more than just one year if you wanted to, depending on how you set this all up. But you have one for each of the Live Well 6, project board with a mission, or I'm sorry, mission, oh Lord have mercy you guys, vision board with a mission. <laughs> That's what a project board is. Once I have these set up for next year, I'll show you what they look like so you can get some ideas. Okay. Next, we have um, some lists inserts. Now, I've been messing with these for several months, and so this is not the edited, the final edited version. Um, so you might see some typos like right here, do these things is like one word, do these is one word. <laughs> that has been fixed. So um, this is not the edited version. This is just what I was working with over the past several weeks and months. So these are lists inserts, and you can make lists from these <laughs> lists. We have three of them. Um, this first one just says, um, these are ways. So ways I can save on my grocery bill, ways I can gain more control of the things I can control, ways I can listen better, ways I can declutter my home or workspace, ways I can make life more fun. These are just prompts and list titles for when maybe you want to do a brain dump or you're, you've got a lot of chaotic thoughts or you want some ideas and some motivation and you don't want to kind of start with a blank um, page, if you will. You need a little bit of prompting, right? So th this is what this is for. So ways, and then we have do these things. 
Um, and so we have do these things when I meet new people, when I'm working on a team, when I'm when my feelings are hurt, when the house is a disaster, when I have nothing left to give, when I'm taking when I'm talking, excuse me, to my spouse or my child, my parent or my friend, when I'm scared. So these are just all different prompts that you can use to either just think about even, or even just make a list. And you can make those lists anywhere in this planner setup or in a different space in your journal, whatever. And then we have how. So how am I living well? How do I feel about my relationships with others? How do I communicate my needs and wants? How am I being challenged this year? How am I growing and maturing? So all these different prompts you can use. And then the next set of list inserts are top 10. So you have some blank inserts with some prompts. So top 10 things I'm grateful for, top 10 qualities I admire in others, um, top 10 places to organize, so on and so forth. You're gonna have all of these lists and then you're gonna have a blank um, a blank version where you can write your own prompts in the top and then make your little lists. So, and then here's another blank page where I could have either printed another top 10 list if I wanted, or you can print one of these dashboards if you want, whatever you want to do. Next, I have another little page protector with another photo of me and my hubby and some more photos. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, you know, you feature in pretty much every one of my planner setups <laughs> because I have photos of us in my planners. So anyway, you got a little bit of a kick out of that. So um, this is obviously my 2023 setup because I still have October through December in here, but I went ahead and popped in my 2024 title page. Um, so actually this is a freebie on my website in the resource library. It comes with 2024, like as a title, and then you get 2024 as a month, I'm sorry, a year on one page or a year at a glance, and then you get a 2025 year at a glance. So it's a little bitty bundle in my resource library you can get for free if you want. Um, so here I have my 2023 year at a glance, and then I have my quarters. Let me show you what this looks like. Give me one second. Okay, so this is what I have in 2023, but I'm going to show you my 2024 version just because I've got personal stuff on there and I don't want to have to maneuver all of that. So you get a quarter on four pages for forward planning. I only keep a quarter at a time in my monthly, I'm sorry, my weeklies. So I needed a space where I could plan out the entire year and even look into the following year if I just wanted to kind of see dates at a glance. So January through March, April through June, July through September, and then October through December. In the updated version, it does have the months up here. So it's gonna say um, the quarters and then it's gonna say January through June. And then on this one, it's gonna say <clears throat> July through December. And so, um, in fact, I might have, I might have two versions, I'm not sure. But anyway, you have a quarter on four pages here. And then I have it set up so that when you turn from the quarter, you're gonna go to your monthly. Now, all of these are undated, so you can use them over and over again. So here's a month on two page spread. And then it's a Sunday start with a little bitty dot grid column on the end lots and lots of space to write down whatever you need for your month. This is where I schedule all the things. Where do I have to be? Where do I have to show up? Meetings, where I'm teaching Bible study, like all the things happens on here. I only keep one agenda on paper. Only one agenda on paper. If I keep multiple agendas, I get confused. So like in my personal, no agendas happen in here. Like no scheduling happens in here. There isn't even a calendar in here. I have a tracker. I have several trackers actually in here, but no scheduling. And then in my other planners, I'm going to be having, um, I'm going to be using rather those calendar, like month on two page spreads for other things, but all agendas are all scheduling for myself. I need to be somewhere. I need to show up, whatever happens here. Okay. So I have all 12 months printed out 
easy peasy lemon squeezy and then the next um page after that is another um year at a glance and then my quarters for 2025. so next year if i have to plan anything for the following year i can kind of jot that stuff down in the quarterly spread okay so that is the first part it's a little thick because i have both 2023 and 2024 calendars in here so it'll go down a little bit when i take out 2023. Next, we have Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, and I've tabbed them to get them ready for next year. So they're all empty. I'm getting them ready for next year. These are all part, I believe, of just the yearly base bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Again, that's linked down below. And they're really great blank inserts, multi-purpose. You can do anything you want with them. I have it both in the A5 size and the personal size because they're such great inserts. And you can use them over and over and over again. So this one, I'm going to be putting my quarterly view of my goals and projects. So here's January through March, April through June, and then the rest of the year here on the back. So big projects that I need to keep track of, they're going to go in here. If I have any ideas for projects, they're going to go in here. Okay, I need to stand up. I was sitting down on a stool and it's cutting off my circulation and <laughs> my foot is falling asleep. Okay, so I'm going to stand up. Here we go. Um, next, I have a reading tracker, and so this is just a, a really simple year tracker. So you have your months and then your days. I'm going to use this for reading. So on this first page, I'm going to write down when I read or when I do Bible intake. So reading, studying, whatever, scripture writing even. I can all go in here. I'm just going to check off when I do that. So I can kind of see what my Bible intake looks like in the, in the year. And then it has this little flap where I might down, I might down, I might write down the books of the Bible that I'm reading. So that's going to look like two different things. So on the one hand, next year, I'm going to be working through the New Testament as my Bible reading plan. And then I'm also going to be teaching through at least two books, actually at least three books, at least. And so I might be writing that down as well. On the back side, I just have, um, it's the same thing, double-sided, and on the back side, I'm going to be writing down my book reading record. So the days I'm just reading books. It can be anything, fiction, nonfiction, whatever. And then I might, I'm not sure what I'm going to keep here because I have a reading journal and that's where I track down what I read. So I'm not sure what's going to go here yet. We'll see. Okay, next insert is for household. So... Again, this is in the yearly base planner, and I really like this insert because, so this is the back half actually. On this back half, I'm gonna be keeping track of household tasks and expenses. Now this is not like bills, like the stuff that just comes out every month, but anything big that's not part of the monthly expense list. So this could be yearly expenses, like for instance, um, Amazon Prime is a yearly expense. Costco membership is, an, is a yearly expense. And then anything big like if we had to make a repair on the car or we had to repair something on the house, that's going to go on here. And so as you can see, this side is grid and this side is lined. And so I'm going to put tasks on the grid side and then expenses on the line side. We'll see how that works, but so far that's how I have that set up to function. And on this front side out of the way this front side it has another tracker so you have your months going down vertically and then your days horizontally and i'm just going to keep track of spouse meetings and date nights so the days that we have dates and um, spouse meetings are just going to go on here just so i can kind of see like how often we're doing those things and um have just a little record of that okay then i have and I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to be using this one as a mood tracker. So this has your months vertically with your dates horizontally. And I'm just going to keep track of my mood. So you'll see on my weekly pages that I have like a little mood tracker on each day. And so I'm just going to use this to aggregate all that information from my weekly spreads so I can see it at a year glance. Because again, I'm only keeping a quarter at a time. So January through June, and then 
July through December. And I'm not going to, like some people color code for mood, I'm literally just going to write. So happy, sad, stressed, anxious, tired, angry, you know, whatever it is. And that's just going to go in there. We'll see how that goes. I'm not I have a very complicated relationship with habit tracking and just tracking in general. So I'm hoping that doing it this way will just kind of give me uh, something to, to work with. Okay. Um, something better to work with. Hopefully it's a better tool, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The next one is a very similar one, only this is the lined version and this is the grid version, but they're the same in search. Okay. And this is where I'm going to keep track of like vitamins and supplements that I have to take. So I had to take multiple things, and so I'm, I've kind of written down the supplements vertically, and then each little box, because it's grid, I can mark down that I actually took those things that day. And this is just for my brain to give myself a space to mark down, this is what happened in this area. These are the things I took, you know, just to kind of give myself a check. Okay, next we have inserts, again from Penis Planner Co. This is from their dated yearly bundle. So these were undated, their yearly base. This is their 2024 yearly bundle. So you've got um, a year on a page with the different weeks, which I really like. I sometimes need to know what week we are in, and so that's really great. And then you have this whole grid fold out to write whatever you want. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but it's really great. I've got um, a little uh, four quarters on one page. <laughs> um, so we've got first, second, third, and fourth quarters. Again, not sure yet what I'm gonna use it for, but I really, really like these inserts and I couldn't pass them up. We have six months on a page and the second half of the year, six months on the back half. And then, We've got this other, whoops, wrong, fold out. I want to say that this insert is its own. I don't think this is part of the dated yearly base. I cannot remember, um, but you can find it linked. So you just have a task list that goes down vertically, and then you have your um, weeks. This is a week, um, it's a 52 week insert. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, this is not. I'm lying. This, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is a monthly insert. So entire month, days 1 through 31, tasks. So you can do two months on this if you wanted to. And I might move this to a particular month if it makes sense. I'll figure that out and I'll update you. And then last but not least, we have another dated. Each month has a box with grid and then some lines. So once I've assigned these, I will let you know what I'm going to use it for. Okay, next we have my quarterly section. Now these dividers are linked down below. These are the top dividers. And so I have one, two, and three. There are five altogether, but one of them like tore just randomly. I just, one day I opened it up and it was torn. So I only just have the first three because I didn't need the last one either, actually. Another photo and collage. <laughs> this is the quarterly section. So this is another um, spread or insert that you can get in the planner bundle. We have thoughts for a new quarter and then we have a project planner. So there are three, here's a blank one, there are three project planner inserts that you can get. And it's just a very, very basic, like the name of the project, which of the live wells it fits into, the timeline, budget, the why of the project, collaborators. So if you're working with anybody, you can write that down, supplies and resources, notes and brainstorm, goals, milestones, steps and tasks with the due date, and then a little progress tracker at the bottom. This is probably not going to have space for all of the information you might need in a project, but it'll get you going. So you can have like the basics of that project in your planner. And so this one um, is the insert that goes before your projects. So this is just a list of those three projects. I only did three because 
generally speaking in a quarter, you can only fit so much with all that's going on. So three big projects seemed like plenty. <laughs> and then you get three little project planning pages. Um, and then at the back, you have a quarter at a glance. Actually, in the updated version, the one that's actually in my shop, the quarter glance um, is first, and then the project planning. Because what ended up happening is I would forget that this is here. So I put it up first. Um, so what you have is thoughts for the new quarter, and then quarter at a glance, and then the projects for the quarter. Okay. And then next we have, this is another freebie in my resource list. This is the autumn bucket list, which is really fun. Um, you can just check off things as you do them. I just wanted to pop one in here. I'm gonna try to do one for every season. So winter will be next and I'll have those as I add them in my resource list. And then we have the challenges. So I have one of these for every quarter and these are also available in the resource library. This is the release challenge. So it says recover, review, and release this quarter. And these are just fun things to do in a quarter. Um, some of them you don't even have to spend any money. And some of them are maybe a bit more involved, but you can do all kinds of stuff. And so this is just to kind of help you remember to maybe stop and smell the roses, so to speak, and to have a little fun during the quarter and help you to stay focused on what matters. And then last but not least, we get into the, actually this is not last, but next, we get into my monthlies for the quarter. And what I'm going to do is instead of showing you my October through December, which are kind of a mess, because again, I was sort of testing these out, I'm going to show you my January through March. And really what I just need to show you is one month. So let's just look at January. Now these inserts, I'm sorry, these dividers are from Amazon, they're linked below, and they're really cool because they're blank and you can just stick whatever months you want. I cannot remember, but they either come in a pack of one with six dividers or a pack of two. So you have two sets of six, which gives you all 12 months. And so all I did was I put my little monthly stickers on them and they come with it. And so I'll have January through June and then I'll have July through December. So as you can see, here we have October, November, and December. And I just pop in whatever quarter I need um, when it's time. So let's take a look at these monthly pages. So you get a little title card, if you will, for, for the month. And then you get what I call a monthly starter. So just like you had thoughts for the new quarter, you can also do thoughts for the new month. Um, and that can be whatever you want, a little journal entry, a little prayer, whatever you want. And then you get a brain dump and you can date this yourself. So whatever month it is, just very, very simple dot grid. And then this is what I call an aesthetic page. And this is just to make like a little vision board or a little scrapbooky fun page to just add some color and some fun to your month. And so it can be whatever you want. If you want to rip up magazines, if you want to print some stuff from online, whatever you want to do, stickers, paint, whatever, doesn't matter. Just a little January aesthetic. And then we have the currently page where you can literally just write down what you are doing currently. So loving, disliking, praying, believing, playing, listening to, watching, trying, making, writing, thinking, wearing, seeing, going, all the things. And then some gratitude at the bottom. And what's fun about this is that I just kind of fill it out throughout the month. And so if I have a little bit of time or I'm, you know, I think of it, um, I'll just kind of fill it in as I go throughout the month. And then we get to your week on two page spread. So this is again, all undated. You have your week number at the top. I'm just gonna kind of zoom in here for you. Week number at the top, a truth you are preaching to yourself that week, which I find to be really helpful especially when you're coming off of like a stressful weekend or the, the, the previous week was stressful or you're feeling anxious about the upcoming week or whatever, what do you want to remind yourself of? What truth do you need to tell yourself this week? And then you have a top three, a take note and an expenses section. And that can mean whatever you need it to mean. And then you have, and this is well, let me just do this first. So right here, you have um, space where you can write down anything you want to track during the week. 
It doesn't even have to be a habit, but anything that you might want to track that is going to take more than one day even, even if it's just two days. So you have seven dots for the seven days of the week, and it can be anything you want. You have four spaces, right? And then let me just zoom in the camera real quick. You know, I probably should have done the entire video like this. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> so here's where the magic is for me. This is what I really, really needed. Down here, I have a week vertically. And I, I really liked the concept of the vertical week, but n I didn't want something that just had vertical weeks because I also like dailies, which is kind of funny because I don't actually have dailies in here, but that was my first thought. Um, but I also wanted to fit other things on a vertical week and typically it wasn't just the way that I needed it. So I made my own and I didn't need a vertical week to span the entire top to bottom, right? So I have a little bitty vertical week here. You've got a block for any like highlight for the day or the big task for the day. And then you have the lines for any appointments. So I do put appointments here with the time. And then down here, like I was talking about mood tracking, you can track your mood, how you are moving. So that's like exercise. And then during the weekdays, so Monday through Friday, I have a chore. And then Saturday and Sunday, I have a little heart. So this can just be like what you're grateful for or what you're loving during the weekend. Even if you do do chores on the weekend, which I do, um, I don't, I really want to focus on just the lovely things of the weekend. And I am trying to get myself to a place where I'm not doing chores on the weekend if I can help it. So um, that's the vertical week. I have a Sunday start because that's my preference, but I do include a Monday start as well if that's your preference. So the only thing dated sort of about the week on two page spreads are the week numbers, but you fill in the dates, okay? At the top, we have the other sort of magical piece that I needed. <laughs> and this was these little task lists um, for four different areas of my life. So personal and family, social and church, work, and then sort of this catch-all projects, tasks, and conversations. And so as I'm writing down what needs to happen through the week, I can just jot it down in any one of those spaces. It's categorized. It makes sense in my brain. It's not just like a willy-nilly task list that I have to kind of comb through to kind of figure out what's what. So a little bit of category helps me um, in my head a lot. <laughs> so that's that's what I really, really needed and it's been helping and I, it's been working out really great. Okay, here at the top, we have sort of this empty list, but what it's actually supposed to function as is potentially like a dinner tracker or a meal tracker. So what I found is that like originally it was a dinner tracker. So it's a dinner up here and then I could write down seven dinners for the week. However, Lately, my husband and I have been doing really simple smoothies for dinner, like protein smoothies, and just cutting out a full meal altogether. And so sometimes I was like, well, maybe I just need lunch. And then I thought, well, some people might want dinner. <laughs> so I just left it blank. And um, you can write in your days here of the week if you would like to, or it could be a list for something completely different. So I gave you the option... If you want something else, you can totally take it. Or if you want to do meals, you can just pick which meal you want to track. And then here we have a challenge for the week. So this is something that I really, really wanted to include because um, if you're part of the collective, it used to be the Live Well, Stay Focus collective, but now it's the Club 119 collective. Um, a few, actually it might have been several months ago now, um, we were doing the Monday morning show. And this was just like a live Monday morning meetup where we would talk about um, just different things. We'd do a little devotional and have some, some fun chit chat. And one of the things that I included was a challenge for the week. And so I am going to be bringing the Monday morning show back and it will actually be on YouTube. So um, it'll be a lot of fun, hopefully. Um, and so I just included this little challenge space to write down whatever challenge we have for the week. So. And that's there and that's my week on two page spread i really tried to pack a lot onto two pages and i think i did a fairly good job of getting sort of the most important pieces of a week onto a spread and so 
for the month of January, I have the five weeks and then the sixth week will start in February. And that is the first section. And then we have February and March. And then once these three months are filled out, I'll take these out and then put in the second quarter and then so forth. Okay. All right. So those are my months and we, I'm sorry, those are my weeks of the months. <laughs> And then we have the um, last section, and this is just another top divider, and literally there is just notes pages. And I'm not gonna show you because I've got some personal stuff there. This is for, oh, this is for next quarter. Anyway, so just some random, I've got graph paper, I've got line paper, I've got dot grid, just random stuff. And these are just little sticky notes that I made to do some review rituals. I just have not filled them out, but they're there when I'm ready to fill them out. And that, you guys, is it. That is it. That is my setup for quarter three, or I'm sorry, quarter four. That's what I'm working on now, right? Quarter four, um, as you can see. And this is what I'm going to be using um, next year. I'm starting with quarter one. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Currently, all of my inserts for this are only in A5 because I cannot plan in anything smaller than an, than an A5, or let me rephrase that. I can't plan in personal size. I cannot do weeks in personal size. It's just too small. So therefore, I only did A5. And I think I said this before, I'm not sure who might be interested in this, so I just made the <laughs> inserts for myself. And if anybody else is interested in a different size, let me know. And if enough people are interested, I'll go ahead and start making different sizes. So. That is it. That's my setup. That's how I'm using the A5 rings. I love it. What's really been a game changer for me is experimentation. I did not want to walk into quarter one of 2024 not having tried some stuff out. And this rings is where I've struggled the most. And um, I knew I wanted to do rings because I wanted to play. I didn't want to only have things that were already done for me but I really needed to test it out before the new year so I'm not struggling, you know, right out the bat. So January 1, and I have no idea what I'm doing, could not do that. I That was this year, and I didn't want to do that again. So I've experimented, I've tried, I've got my system, I love it. I'll be ready for 2024. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how you use your A5. And um, look forward to my planner stack video, which should be coming soon um hopefully within the next week or so we'll see but look forward to that where i'll show you all the rest of the planners that i plan to use next year and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for spending time with me and um, i'll hopefully talk to you all later thank you so much bye bye